It is a tumultuous time in our country and our world. One where certain words we use to describe our lived experience, unprecedented, for example, can feel like they've lost some of their meaning. But it is in this tumultuous time that the need for shared tradition and understanding is more urgent than ever. This month, we join together to celebrate the experiences, accomplishments, and contributions of African Americans in everything from education to business, politics to the arts, academia to the military, medicine to entertainment, scientific research to advocacy for a better world. The concept behind this year's Black History Month theme, Sankofa, Black Creativity, originated in Ghana, West Africa, and can be translated to, it is not taboo to go back and fetch what you forgot. What a perfect theme for this year's celebration. We are at a moment in the United States of multiple disruptions, but we can rise to meet this moment if we are mindful of our past and where we have come from. As we honor and reflect on the achievements of African Americans, both past and present, and listen to stories that too often go untold, this month marks an opportunity to join together in an appreciation for our shared humanity and a relearning of our basic values and goals. Let us listen to the voices of those who are working toward a society free from systemic racism and racial inequality. Let us be a campus that communicates, one that is full of people both interested and committed to getting to know one another. Let us be a community that learns one another's histories and experiences as we work together to build a more welcoming and inclusive environment. As we'll hear today, the Stony Brook Libraries is incredibly lucky to be in its 20th year of coordinating with the History Makers Digital Archives, our nation's largest African-American video oral history collection, highlighting nearly 2,700 individuals who have made a significant impact in our country. The History Makers is a rich resource to help us learn from the past, celebrate our present, and move forward to create a better future. The past month alone has demonstrated the challenges that lie ahead. On January 6th, we saw an embodiment of what fear mistrust, hatred, and division can lead to as the United States Capitol building was under siege. Yet just weeks later, at the presidential inauguration, National Youth Poet Laureate Amanda Gorman made our country, for a moment, stand still in awe. Awe at the beauty of her words, at the hope of her message, and at the sheer magnitude of what art can do. For those of us dedicated to learning, education, and creativity, this is an especially galvanizing thing. So I'd like to close with a few lines from Gorman's poem, The Hill We Climb, which I believe is a magnificent exploration of why we celebrate and what we're celebrating. We are striving to forge a union with purpose, to compose a country committed to all cultures, colors, characters, and conditions of man. And so we lift our gazes, not to what stands between us, but what stands before us. We close the divide because we know to put our future first, we must first put our differences aside. We lay down our arms so we can reach out our arms to one another. We seek harm to none 
and harmony for all.